Today, 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 today is gonna be really sick. Really, really sick. The crew, the boys, the park Ooh. doggy door, the Will Crumpacca, the Justy G, and Caden Spawny. What's up, buddy? We're loading the boards here, and I should just let Justin do it, probably. Uh, yeah, Justin's our dad, and he, he normally is the one that handles all the things that uh, 20 year old kids don't like to do. Looks pretty good to me. Think we're all right? I think so. Maybe I want a t-shirt that says Justin's my dad. It's been a whirlwind of a morning. We're heading to the east side of the island. I'll inform you later what's going down, but we have kites loaded in the car, surfboards on the roof, and um, yeah, we're all really stressed out because we're running no, late. Oh, my harness is not in here. Will, la la you left your harness? It's Will's in screwing house. everyone over again. It's in the fucking house, Jackson, okay? <laughs> we haven't even left the house. Stop up playing it like I'm a villain. Are you ready, dude? I got my harness. Guess okay. where it was. Hey, video this. Guess where it was. Jackson's closet. He fucking stole it, dude. You're lying. Do I look like I'm lying? Yeah, you look like an <laughs> alien. Alright, go, 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 go! be able to make this work on a seven meter. Dude, I hate my life so much. I hate Justin, dude. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> You're cranking on him. <laughs> so, someone's in the car right there. <laughs> with the window. So, if it wasn't clear, there's two old people in that green car right there, and <laughs> cut back to the clip. <laughs> Will was just cranking on Justin's pants. I just pants him in right his... in front of the piece. His crack was window level, dude. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, are you ready? I'm ready. I've been waiting for this day for How's so long, and it's finally here. <laughs> They're scared of Will. Everybody's scared of Will. He's a freak. Don't hang out with that guy. I'm a freak of nature, man. We're in Swamp Zone Nation. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. It's very strange and interesting. And the best kite zone of all time. Looks like crocodiles live here. Oh, me and Will uh, are going to get food right now. There's a little burger joint on the end of the pier. We don't have a mask, so we're going shirts on. Ah, I forgot a mask again. But what's more going on is we are at, where are we? Kaneohe Pier, and our boy Jesse Moon is coming to pick us up in his boat, and we're gonna head out to the sandbar, and we are gonna kite. It's pretty light, as you can see, but it looks like it's picking up, so picking up, it's kinda kind of picking up. Oh, that's a good sign, dude! I don't love it, but I like it, so we're gonna go for it, man. Hey there, why don't you get this ham sandwich? But you know right in. All right, getting the stuff out of the car and then loading it into the boat. Yes, thanks for the lift, boys. Officially made it. It's so beautiful. I'm freaking out, dude. I'm getting Justin. suited. Ah! Justy's already in his wetsuit. This is crazy. Parker, how you feeling, buddy? Oh, so good. Look so at this. Good. Like he's got a course in hand. Got a course With the gals down there. They're already course. drinking. They're already on it. We're gonna rig up the kites. We're gonna drink beer. And we're gonna have the day of days. <laughs> Go. 
teleported back in the studio again. Yeah, if you didn't like uh, the bebe. If you didn't watch last week's vlog, same thing happened. I teleported after the sequence back to the studio. My batteries died again. But that's brought me to an entire topic of conversation this time that I've actually always wanted to talk about, but I feel that this is the perfect opportunity to do so. And that is the idea of non-resistance. Yeah, I know, it sounds really stony, weird, and uh, freaky. But it's not. It actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. It's what my tattoo stands for right here, and it's a way that I've lived life ever since I picked up a camera, to be completely honest with you. And I've kind of talked about it in my vlog called Shit Happens. You can check it out if you haven't. But it's the idea that opportunity and bad things and good things are always going to come your way, and it's all about how you handle it and how you take it on. And for me personally, opportunity is a huge one to just say yes and go with it. Don't resist change. Don't resist things that come your way. Gravitate to it, mold with it, and move with it. And I bring up this example with the batteries because my batteries died. I was cold. It was freezing. It was nighttime. I was unmotivated. I wasn't in the mood to vlog. I had everything working against me to film a smooth outro. So I said, fuck it. I'm not going to film a smooth outro. I'm just going to jump back to the studio. And I did that for my own personal inner peace and happiness at the moment. There's a balance of filming and there's a balance of living and when you blend those two too much or when you're on one side of the spectrum too much it's out of balance and it's not a good thing now obviously certain jobs you gotta work or you gotta you know maybe do things you don't want to do but in this instance YouTube I'm doing for fun because I want to because I want to build a dream job for myself and why would I ever build a dream job for myself when there's ever a moment where I'm not absolutely loving it? That's the question I ask myself all the time. So why would I go out of my way to find batteries from a friend or to film in the cold when I'm unmotivated and not really in the mood to vlog when I can instead just jump back to the studio right here and talk to you about real shit? And that is the fact that, um, yeah, I didn't want to. I just wasn't in the mood. And that's the beautiful thing about it and something that I think a lot of people get lost in. They worry too much about saying the perfect line, being the perfect person, or getting the perfect shot. And I think that ideology can get you lost and put you in a pretty bad place pretty quickly, when instead you can live a much more stress-free life by living non-resistantly and just letting things happen and playing them instead to your advantage. I don't know. I hope it makes sense. That's the way my brain works and the way I think about these type of things. Something I figured I'd share. And um, yeah, all in all though, how was that sandbar? Absolutely insane. Beach in the middle of the ocean, deep blue crystal water, mountains out of a movie scene. We had girls, we had beers, we had boys, we had kites. It was a full freaking scene out of a dream. Can't even believe that day just happened. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. You guys are making the dream happen. If you're not subscribed, please, con can get that? please consider doing so. And um, yeah, we'll end it there. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you next Friday, you legends.